Welcome to Marty's Fly Vice. Tonight I'm tying a red fox squirrel nymph. It's a Dave Whitlock pattern and it's typically considered a golden stone fly and boy there was a time when this was the golden stone fly in my box. Uh, it serves as a good attractor fly, caddis, emerger, soft hackle, but primarily it's a good one to go to when you uh, need a golden stone. I'm going to start by putting some O2O lead wire on a size 12 Dairiki 730. That's a 2x long hook. And I'm going to try and stay as true to Whitlock's pattern as I can here. Lead's supposed to be in the middle of the hook. I slide it forward just a little bit. See I'm building a little dam in front and a little dam behind, but I'm not taking the time to cover the lead with thread. I don't think that's necessary. The dubbing takes care of it. The lead won't show through. Now the tail material is off of a red fox squirrel skin. And you can see I've just been kind of digging at it from a patch on the inside. I just kind of grab a little bundle, slide the scissors in, and cut off a little clump. Now the guard hairs are a bunch of different lengths but it's supposed to be modeled back there. What I'm going to do is trim this so that when I tie it in all that gray fur gets covered with thread and the buff color extends out the back and then I let the tail be whatever this particular fox squirrel skin wants the tail to be. The reason I want that little yellow buff color to stick out is it's going to blend right in with the dubbing we're going to use for the abdomen. Now the dubbing is uh, Dave Whitlock Synthetic Living Fiber. Uh, the top two on the list here are Red Fox Squirrel Nymph Thorax, Red Fox Squirrel Nymph Abdomen. Kind of a yellowish color for the abdomen darker color for the thorax. <clears throat> so let's get some dubbing. And I want to spread it out on my thread so that it's pretty thin for the first couple of wraps. Kind of building the taper right into my dubbing noodle. I like to get one turn behind the tinsel. And usually I finish with a couple of turns of lead showing here. And this tinsel is gold tinsel. It's not wire. It's not a flat tinsel. It's an actual tinsel with the facets. You know, the gold is wrapped around a core. So when you wrap it like that, each little bend creates a facet. So this thing, uh, I like it on gold ribbed hair's ears and it's very good on this fly as well. This is a size 12 hook. You can certainly tie this in 14s, 12s, 10s, 8s, uh, and kind of adjust the tinsel size as you go up in size. Now I'm going to get some thorax stubbing. I'm going to crowd the hook eye just a little bit. And you see as I'm dubbing this, I'm picking my proportion by overlapping the, the abdomen. I brought the abdomen forward quite a ways. And now I'm overlapping it to create the proportions I want. You know, about a third in the front and two thirds in the back. Pretty good. Let's clean up that eye just a little bit. Now, for <clears throat> a soft hackle, just got a typical hen neck, nice markings on it. Gonna strip the fluff off the bottom so I got something to grab with my hackle pliers. Now, if you look at this feather, the fibers on the front end are a lot shorter than the ones in the back. 
So on this one you're going to kind of pick the spot on the feather that will give you coverage on the soft hack. I'll go back a little more than halfway down the body length. Now I'm going to lay this in and tie it pretty tight to the eye. And see how it's making that back part of the feather stand up? When I wrap my soft hackle and, and tie the head, it's going to make the soft hackle stick out as well. Now I'm going to stroke these things and kind of fold them. What I'm doing is I'm rolling those fibers so that they all stand out on the same side of the stem. Yeah, I'm going to make this turn behind the thread. And just two turns. It's meant to be pretty sparse. Whitlock says he cuts these things out until he's down to six or eight fibers. I leave a few more in there than that. Now that I've doubled it back, I can get in there and trim the stem. This is tied with orange thread. A little bit of a hot spot. It can be tied with black as well. And there you have a red fox squirrel nymph.